going to be another long day. My husband was already out the door and on his way to work. Lately it seemed to be happening more and more. That meant I was rushing to make lunches for my four munchkins. I was blessed with four very adult children. We had a routine and on the days Dad was not home, my oldest was the responsible one. I scurried to the front door, hoping to leave before anyone woke up. The handle was within reach before I heard a loud scream. I knew my children, and the scream was not coming from their room. At first my thought was it must be children playing outside. Then I realized it was way too early for kids to be playing on the streets. As nervous as I was, I had to go to work. There was no time to think about someone else, so I took my briefcase and made it safely to my car. Just as I stepped outside, I heard the loud scream once more. There was really little I could do but stay in my car for safety. Finally, I was on the road and I left the screaming and unknown behind. I just got to my desk and had not even taken off my jacket. I worked in a retirement home and there was always something wrong. Cindy was an employee for 20 years and the first one to greet me. It never took too long to explain an emergency. My first thought was how lucky I was to make it to work when I did. However, I had no idea what she was going to say next. Kathy, did you hear the news? I looked at her a little stunned. No, I just got in. Why? What's up? Usually, it's always about resident or one of the employees. Nothing ever really big. Oh my gosh, there was a shooting. Her hands were waving all over. I quickly grabbed her hands and pulled her in. I could not believe what I was hearing. My first thought was the scream I heard this morning. It could not be. She then explained the hostage situation. Where? I shouted. Cindy stopped and knew right away I was thinking the worst. No, no, Kathy. It was at the other end of town. My heart skipped a beat, but once more I never looked back. That night I went home feeling blessed and thinking a little about the scream I had heard earlier. There was no answer. My youngest little girl was the first one to jump in my arms when I got home. I started tickling her and asking about how her day was. She started explaining the show and tell. Her favorite story was one I kept close to mine. A story about a mother hunting down a mouse that escaped from his cage. Finally, my mind was at ease and I never thought of the scream or a story of the kids held hostage again. Years had passed and I was now working on an executor. My husband and I were divorced and he remarried to his mistress. Life went on. A young boy, older than 25, walked into my office holding a resume. A strange feeling came over my body. As I started talking to him, the story became very similar to one I had heard before. He explained the hostage situation and how he was shot in process. My heart sank and I started putting the pieces together. This was a boy that survived what I thought could be, could have been. When he finished telling me his story, I had realized that not once did I turn the news on to find out what had happened. I asked him what happened to the shooter. They never found him. All I know is I thought for sure my mother was going to marry him. Oh, I said, you know what he looks like? I was anxiously awaiting to hear how this man escaped with a description. Nope, he said. Without a thought, he then explained that his mind block was blocked in the image. As he started explaining more, my heart began to sink. I only remember the big house about an hour from mine. Then he described the birdhouse, color of brick, and so many other descriptions. It was clearly my home. I sat back in my chair and could not wait to hear more. It became clear that in the end, his past was about to haunt my future. I knew he who he was. This man was the father of my children. He almost killed the young man in front of me. My thoughts were spinning. Do I start caring?